we are now going to define the common log and the natural log, and then we're going to show how to find them on your calculator. So we're going to start with the common log, and this is built off of our numbering system. We have a base of 10. We have 10 fingers, and every 10 we roll into the next column. So 10 tens is 100, 10 hundreds is 1,000, so on and so forth. And so if we just see the log written by itself, log x, then we assume this is log base 10 of x. If no base is written, we assume it's a 10. And this one gets used a lot in the real world because it's very closely related to our number system. The other one that shows up is what we call the natural log, which has a base of e, that number we talked about in the last one, which we have on our calculator. And we're going to know it's a natural log because we're going to have an ln. An ln in a variable, or ln in a number, is the same as log base e of x. And so these two are on every scientific calculator out there. So we can use a scientific calculator to find numbers of these logarithms. So for instance, suppose I want to know what the natural log of 20 is. So let's get our calculator. Let's bring it out so we can see it. And you'll notice that we have this LN button right here, which is what we need. So for this calculator, we put the 20 in first and hit the log. It gives us our result. Uh, this is approximately equal to, let's go to five decimal places, 2.99573. And again, we need to do it this way so that it rounds correctly. And we have to round it because we don't know what its actual value is. We, we can't stop writing decimals. It's an irrational number. Well, we could also look at the common log of 30, and that will give... Here's our common log button, just the LOG. 1.47712. We could also get the natural log of 0 0.5. Notice this is perfectly valid because it's bigger than 0. So we put our 0.5 on first, hit our natural log button, and oh, here we get a negative 0 0.69315 when we round that. And notice it's negative. So we get negative results when we're, our input is less than 1. We get positive results when it's bigger than 1. And that's how we can use our calculator to find common logs and natural logs.